Hey guys, thanks for watching. I have always wanted, you know like those cushions that look all nice and fluffy and fur and just textured in a different kind of way. I've always wanted to have those. Every time I've gone to HomeSense, Tiki Max, I can't find anything. Now, this is the problem that I've always had and I'm trying to fix it. That is going to be one of my new year resolutions. I'm going to learn how to sew because it's going to save me a whole bunch of trouble. I am making this gorgeous, gorgeous cushion covers they are cheap to make and they look absolutely beautiful this is what it looks like and i made four of these cushions and i spent 16 pounds it cost me 16 pounds to make four of these cushions if you want to see how i make them i'm so excited <laughs> i'm sure i'm not the only one that loves them this much but if you want to see how i made them then please keep watching so these are my items i am using this ikea cushion cover it's a pound 75 this fabric tag i got it from amazon i will link it below a scissors and then a piping tag a piping cord and these embroidery design things <laughs> and then i'm also using um, a foil paper or no parchment paper that's what you call it so what i do is that i put the cushion cover on a cushion because i just want to see what the design would look like and then i use this beautiful embroidery um, webs and i will lay them on there that's what i want to use and then i'm also using this lace that i got from home heat lace ribbon that i got from the range and i just lining them up i find that actually getting the design sorted out on top of the cushion where the with it with the cushion cover in it it makes more sense so you can get a better look and see what the final design would look like which is what i've done so this is the first design done i love how it looks i am i've taken a picture of this one so i'm going to do the second one with the cord so that you can see how it will also look like Now that I've got both my designs done, I'm using parchment paper and putting it inside the cushion cover. I'm doing this because I'm trying to avoid the glue from sticking both the fabric together. So I still want a hole in the middle to put my cushion. Otherwise, this would be all a waste of time. So then I'm just attaching, I will adding the glue to these ribbons and then I am going to just follow the photo that I have on my phone and just put them down as they go. So that is what I am doing right now that is all done I am pulling the parchment paper off and then I am going to do the second one these are the pillars all the, the cushion covers all done they look beautiful i let them dry overnight and then i put them in the following day but i said you can leave it for three hours with this glue and it will be good and then 24 hours before you can put them in the washing machine but they look so good i did another one with this ribbon which i didn't show you guys but it is pretty much the same process just making sure that you have your design locked down the way you want it and then you can just go with the flow look at them i love how it turned out let me know in the comments below what you think i absolutely love these i am going to be using them to decorate my conservatory for christmas and then i might bring them into the living room after the new year thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next one bye